Hello everyone. Welcome to new video off Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new guide video for you. Time to increase your power like a hero. Because today I will discuss on heroes. This is the fifth part of my hero guide series. In previous parts, we have seen hero exclusive gear, hero gear essence stone, drill camp hand, arena. In today's video, I will give detailed information on heroes their source, use and counter. We will see how to use one hero against other heroes. Let's jump in our video. There are several type of heroes. According to class, there are three class, infantry, lancer, marksman, infantry hero leads infantry troops, lancer hero leads lancer troops and marksman hero leads marksman troops. Infantry hero is strong against lancer, but weak against marksmen. Lancer hero is strong against marksmen, but weak against infantry. Marksman hero is strong against infantry, but weak against lancer. These are the hero classes. According to work, there are two type of heroes, combat and growth. Combat heroes have a red sword icon in their name. Growth heroes have a green hammer icon in their name. What they do, combat hero is useful for PvP and V battle where growth hero takes part in resource production and city growth like building or research. Combat heroes have attacking power in their expedition skill, where growth heroes have development power in their expedition skill. Zinman, Jasser, Siuyun are exception. Even though they are growth heroes, they have attacking buff in their expedition skill. Keep these things in mind when going for combat. These are the type of heroes according to work. Now, according to rarity, there are three type of heroes. Rare hero blue in color, epic hero purple in color and mythic hero yellow in color. Epic hero is stronger than rare hero and mythic hero is stronger than epic hero. Their skill quantity is also different. Rare hero has two expedition and two exploration skill. Epic hero has two expedition and three exploration skill. Mythic hero has three expedition and three exploration skill. Considering everything, the strategy is you have to get as much mythic hero as possible for combat. But in early days, it is not easy to get mythic heroes. So you can try to get epic heroes. Mythic heroes come in every generation. In this chart, you can see which hero will come. In which generation? This chart is updated till generation 6. Pause the video and take a screenshot. We just saw rare, epic, Mythic Hero has different number of expedition and exploration skills. Where these skills are used, let's check it. When you open skill section of a hero, on left side, you find exploration skill and, on right side, you find expedition skill. Exploration skills are used when you fight in exploration stage, lighthouse exploration and arena battle. Expedition skills are used when you fight in open world. That means PvP, PV, Alliance battle, fortress battle, facility battle, castle battle. Remember, exploration skills are not used in expedition or expedition skills are not used in exploration. Both are completely different. I have already made a guide on exploration type hero for Reno. If you have not watched it, check it. Link given in pinned comment. Now, you have to understand. Open world battle and arena battle are different. We cannot use same hero in both place. The hero who is strong in arena can come weak in open world or the hero who is weak in arena can come strong in open world. Because I already told. Expedition and exploration are different skills, but some heroes are useful in both arena and open world battle. These heroes are Sergei, Molly and Bahidi as a beginner. You can use them because their expedition and exploration both skills are good. Make these three hero as your main hero in an early stage. We just discussed hero skill, but to unlock these skills, there are certain conditions. Let's start with hero level. There is no connection between hero level and skill unlocking. But to get good damage output from skills, your hero level should be higher. You can use hero exp to increase your hero level. Each time you increase your hero level, attack, damage, health everything of your hero increases. 
hero level also increase escort's value and troops capacity of your hero. The higher the hero level is, the more escorts and troops capacity has. Escorts value is the number of troops that stay with a hero during exploration and arena. Troops capacity is the number of troops that stay with a hero during open world battle. Highest level of hero is 80, where you get 10 escorts and 13,470 troops capacity. Now, it is not easy to level up all hero using EXP, because to make one hero level 80, you need total 23.6 million EXP. To solve this problem, we have Drill Camp. In Drill Camp, you can upgrade your main 5 heroes and your other heroes will be upgraded automatically using Drill. If you want to know more about Drill Camp, check my guide on Drill Camp. Link given in pinned comment. Now, we will see how to unlock skills. To unlock certain level skills, we have to ascend our hero to certain star. To ascend hero star, we have to collect hero shards. Hero shards are also used to unlock any hero for the first time. There are two type of shards, shards for specific hero and general shards. Shards for specific hero can only be used for that hero where general shards can be used for any hero. According to availability of shards, we can divide our hero to free to play and pay to win category. In this chart, you can see which hero is free to play and which hero is paid to win. Pause the video and take a screenshot. You can get Natalia when you do first recharge. Also, you can get Natalia shards in VIP. Geronimo shards are mainly available in VIP. Jeronimo Shard is also available in Hall of Chief Leaderboard. But that is not easy for free-to-play players. Only source is to get VIP Special Pack. If you are a spender, you should get Natali and Jeronimo. Both are good infantry hero for early stage. Each time you increase the star of your hero, you unlock new skills. So it is very important to increase your hero star. Every hero can have maximum 5 stars. And one star is made of six tier. As you can see, my almost has one star on the second star. He has no tier, so the tier count is zero. When I open the skill section, it is showing that I have to increase my hero to second star to unlock this skill. If you are a spender, you have many source to get shards. One of the best sources is daily deals pack. But normal source of shard is advanced and epic recruitment. Every day you get chance of 5 free advanced recruitment. Get keys from events and daily missions. And use the keys in advanced and epic recruitment. You can get all epic heroes and molly shards. You can also get hero EXP and speed up and resources here. Another source for shard is intel missions. Defeat beasts in intel missions every day so you can get shards. Manual and EXP. Let's check what is use of manual. There are two type of manuals, exploration manual and expedition manual. Exploration manual is used to upgrade exploration skill, where expedition manual is used to upgrade expedition skill. Each time you upgrade skill, next skill upgrade cost increases. See, I have upgraded this skill using manual. This is how you should upgrade your skill. You can upgrade any hero skill but you should give priority to growth hero skill. To increase your resource production, building and research buff. To make yourself strong in arena, give priority to your main 5 hero exploration skill. It will take long time for free to play player. To make 5 star hero, because it takes lot of shards. Here, you can see how many shards you need to make 5 star hero. Pause the video and take a screenshot. If you are free to play player and if you are struggling to make 5 star mythic hero, you can leave it to 4 star. Because 4 star mythic hero is enough strong. You can also get shards and manuals from shop. VIP shop is a good source for general shards and manuals. Increase your VIP level to get access of better items. Now let's check gear of hero. What is gear? Gear is a wearable of hero which can increase attack, defense, health, lethality. Gear is troop type specific. That means infantry hero can use infantry gear. Lancer hero can use lancer gear. Marksman hero can use marksman gear. 
Kiro gear has five quality. Gray, green, blue, purple, yellow. You should use gray and green gear to enhance others. Each gear gives three buffs. First two buffs are for the hero and third buff is for that hero's troops. Now, gear can be equipped in for body slots, goggles, gloves, delt and boots. Goggles and boots give buffs for hero attack and health and lethality for troops, where gloves and belt give buff for hero defense and health and health for troops. That means goggles and boots give similar buffs and gloves and belt give similar buffs. You can enhance the gear to increase the bonus of the gear. Either you can use EXP component or you can use other low-level gear for enhancement. Here, you can see what bonus you can get after enhancement. Here, you can see what items you are using for enhancement. I suggest you to use your mythic gear for top 5 heroes. Lower heroes should use purple gear. If you have extra gear, use them to enhance mythic and epic gear. Because low-level gear are not useful. In your bag, you can check which gear is being used on which hero. Each gear gives a specific points. When you use them in enhancement, gray gear gives 10 points, green gear gives 30 points, blue gear gives 60 points, purple gear gives 150 points. You don't need to use yellow gear in enhancement, as you are going to enhance yellow gear. To equip or enhance gear, first you have to collect gear. There are different sources to get gear. First is Intel missions. From Intel missions, you can get all type of gears except yellow. See? From this mission, I can get green marksman belt. Purple gear is available in Intel missions, but it is hard to find. Next source of gear is exploration. If you clear till stage 200, you can get gear from passive income. You can get all type of gear except purple and yellow from passive income. Moreover, you can get gear by clearing stages. There are some stages where you can get yellow gear. You can also get gear by fighting in arena. From arena battle, you can get all type of gear, except purple and yellow. Now, you have realized it is not easy to get purple and yellow gear. What is the source of yellow gear? The one and only source of yellow gear for free to play player is the arena shop here you can get custom mythic hero gear chest where you can get yellow gear of your own choice don't use your arena tokens for custom epic hero gear chest i will explain arena shop someday in future i just told you can increase your gear power using enhancement there is one more way to increase gear power mastery forging what is mastery forging you can increase your gear bonus using Hero Gear Ass and Stone. This is exclusive to Yellow Gear. To use Mastery Forging, your Furnace level should be 20 and that Yellow Gear which you want to enhance should be level 20. I have given detailed information on Mastery Forging. If you have not watched it, check it. Link given in pinned comment. Now, let's check the exclusive gear. Other heroes have for gear slots. Where Mythic Heroes has extra 5th gear slot, Using this gear slot, mythic heroes can use their own weapon and extra skill for arena or exploration. This gear also gives buff for stats like attack, defense, health, lethality. Exclusive gear is available when you ascend your hero to one star. Exclusive gear comes in different parts, commonly named as widgets. You have to collect specific widgets for specific gears to unlock or operate it. I have already made a guide on hero exclusive gear. If you have not watched it, check it. Link given in pinned comment. This is how you can use skills and gears of a hero. These are all basics of a hero. Now we will see some advanced parts. I will suggest you when you should use which hero. Combat hero has two types, attack type or rally type and defense type or garrison type. You cannot use any hero in any place. If you use attack type of hero in defense or if you use defense type of hero in attack, you will harm yourself. You have to understand which hero is for attack and which hero is for defense. Hero's expedition skill determines whether it is attack type or defense type hero. If any hero skill increases damage or lethality, 
It is attack type hero. If any hero skill increases defense or health, it is defense type hero. If any hero skill decreases opponent's defense or health, it is also attack type hero. If any hero skill decreases opponent's damage or lethality, it is also defense type hero. Depending on attack or defense type hero, we should select captain hero. When we will rally, rally captain should use attack type hero. And rally members who will join the rally, they should use attack type hero as Q captain in their own team. When we will garrison, defense captain should use defense hero as own Q captain. And members who will garrison, they should use defense type hero as their own Q captain. If you use correct hero type in rally, you can easily break opponent's defense, or if you use correct hero type in garrison, none can break your defense. Some heroes have both attack and defense skills, but they are always either attack or defense type hero. In this chart, you can see which hero is attack type and which hero is defense type. Pause the video and take a screenshot. I will give more information on rally someday in future. As a free-to-play player, you should use Sergei, Patrick or Flint as defense captain, and you should use Jesse, Bahidi or Seoyun as attack captain. Let me show you an example. Sergei has two expedition skills. When you are rally captain, both expedition skill of rally captain will be used. When you are rally member, only first expedition skill will be used. Let's check skill of Sergei. First expedition skill, will reduce damage taken. Second expedition skill will reduce enemy attack. This is why Sergei is defense type hero. If you use defense type hero in city defense, your city will remain more safe from enemy attack. Here you can see, I am using Flint as captain, because Flint is defense type hero. Similarly, Patrick is another defense type hero, because his first expedition skill increased the health of troops Jessie is attack type hero because her first expedition skill increased the damage. We should consider both first and other expedition skill, but rally or garrison members can use only first skill, so we are seeing first skill. Remember, only for rally or garrison members can use their first skill of captain hero. Let me show you a calculation. In level 5, first skill of Jesse increased damage 25%. If for rally members have this, total rally damage will be increased by 25 for 100%. Flint is a hero who has both attack and defense skill. But Flint is defense type hero. Philly's skills are based on defense. So, Philly is a defense type hero. This is how you should analyze each and every hero. It will help you to bring victory to your side. Now we will check which hero you should focus from early stage. Chorus skills increase city food production and food gathering in wilderness, so you should upgrade Chorus skill. First maximize the food production, after that upgrade gathering skill. Smith will help you for iron production and iron gathering, so you should also focus on Smith. In level 5, the production and gathering are increased by 25%. Similarly, you should upgrade Eugene for wood and Charlie for coal. Now let's check Seoyun. Seoyun is exception. Though she is growth hero, she can be used as attack hero. Upgrade her second expedition skill to increase healing speed in infirmary. Jasser is another exception. Jasser is growth hero. His second expedition skill can increase research speed, but he is excellent hero in arena. I suggest you not to upgrade Volley's book in an early stage. Volley's book can increase your marching speed, but we have substitute of it. Zinman is growth hero, but he has combat skill in expedition. Zinman first expedition skill increases construction speed, and his second expedition skill decreases construction cost. You should upgrade both for faster growth. Now, I have some serious discussion on Gina. Gina is popular hero for Gina's revenge event. From this event, players get Gina shards and easily upgrade Gina. Now the problem comes, players can easily make Gina 5 star. So they think Gina is powerful than other marksmen in early stage. 
so they use Gina more than other marksmen. This is the mistake that everyone makes, we can easily upgrade Gina to 5 star. Remember, Gina is not a PvP hero, she is a PV hero. What is PV? E hero. T. V. E. Means player versus entity. Why? Because Gina has no combat skill in Expedition. Her first Expedition skill reduced stamina cost and second Expedition skill increased marching speed. See? There is no skill which is related to attack and defense. For this reason, you should use Gina only for beasts. Polar Terror, Cryptid, Mercenary Prestige. If you use Gina against other player, you will harm yourself. Because when you use Gina against other player, Gina cannot use any combat skill, so she will fight without any skill, which is not good for your team. Using Gina in PvP is equal to jumping in black hole. Which hero you should use as marksman? The Hedi is best option for free-to-play players. Both skills of Bahidi are combat skills, so you should focus on upgrading Bahidi's skill. Use Bahidi till generation 4. After that, you can switch to Lin. Does it mean Gina is totally useless? Outside Beast or Polar Terror? I am coming to that point soon. First we will see what is proper use of Gina. See? If we use these heroes, it will cost 25 stamina to rally. Now, I put Gina in team, so, rally cost is reduced to 20. This is how you should use Gina to save stamina. Mercenary Prestige event consumes huge amount of stamina. In that event you can use Gina. Now we will see one and only combat use of Gina. Fortress has a reward, which can be obtained by capturing Fortress first. If any alliance can defeat Fortress mercenaries first, they can get that reward. This reward is Warrior's Chest. As Gina has marching speed skill, you should use Gina to capture Fortress. Your troops will reach first and, if they can defeat mercenary, you and your alliance can get reward. Don't keep Gina and Fortress after defeating mercenary. Wait for a chance and switch your team. I will explain more about Gina someday in future. This is the complete guide I discuss on heroes. I explained hero, their types, skill, gear, counter, lineup. Follow these and master your hero. In previous parts of Hero Guide series, I have discussed on Hero Exclusive Gear, Hero Gear Ass and Stone, Drill Camp, Arena. Link given in pinned comment. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.